Ahoy there, YouTube! I'm back again for a new segment I'm calling Bowers Barometer, where essentially I see something very interesting happening in the tabletop board gaming ecosystem, and I bring that thing directly to your face to get people's general consensus thoughts and opinions on what exactly is going on, because I think it's something that's very atypical. And today, I'm going to be talking about a discovery I made on GameFound yesterday regarding this Kickstarter project right here, Ice. So, Ice one to five player game they raised 277,000 euros and they were not able to ship to their people right so it's like oh we can't ship we manufactured we just can't afford to ship out so instead of you know asking them for more money or, or doing something of that ilk they took a totally different approach and launched a game found project which in itself is a question of do you like do you feel comfortable with that as a crowdfunding uh crowdfunder what do you think about that basic idea because to break it down ice limited and this thing is raised i think like fifty five thousand bucks in 2020 they, they they tell you this right from the beginning in 2021 we at the way launched our first game on kickstarter ice while everyone marveled at its unique table presence and gameplay it's not the time to be patting yourself in the back i don't feel like right now but whatever the ambitious project proved to be quite complicated to produce but we did it the game has been fine has finally been manufactured and is soon ready to be sent to original backers we just need to get through one last hurdle the surprising shipping cost that ended up being way more considerable than our initial quote with your help we can get through this last obstacle and deliver ice both to original backers and new ones from this campaign while ensuring this way has a long future ahead you can read more about why we decided to do this on the kickstarter so that's the first thing that pretty much led with before they went into the game overview so they just owned it very interesting decision right there also one thing a little smidge bit of information to explain exactly how this kickstarter campaign works because right now you can't back it uh and get these games is when you order uh, your game. So let's just say you make a game and you you have 1,700 backers on Kickstarter. Let's just, and, and then you don't get 1,700 print run. You might get a 200 print run. So that way you have these 300 extra games that you can sell at retail or you can give out as a gift or you can you, you can do a variety of different things. You can send them to reviewers, whatever. That's what they're doing. They have this extra surplus of games from their original print run and they're selling those but with like stuff too, like art books and the, the extra, there's like promo cards that they're making and decks and stuff like that. But that's not really the point. The point is, I'm just interested to know how everyone feels about this. Because as much as we all kind of agree that we don't like when companies feel like they're uh, putting out a Kickstarter to pay for a previous Kickstarter to come out because we've seen companies collapse because of that. We're, we're seeing, we're seeing a lot of stuff like that happening, unfortunately right now on Kickstarter and, and GameFound. And so instead they completely pivoted and they were just like, we're going to own this. This is what happened. And we have this here. And in fact, it's actually kind of ingenious. What they're doing here is there's the most popular pledge level is pretty much just the people whose games are kind of being held hostage right now you know and that's one thing i, I gotta say when i did a, a video covering mythic games i think it's mythic games yeah uh they have tons of issues and their their backers a lot of them use the word felt like they were being held hostage by the company uh in particular in the most recent siege six game based on rainbow six siege they had a play, they pretty much said, hey, we need more money or else we're not going to be able to ship the stuff out to you. That's, that's exactly what's happening with Ice Limited right here. Hey, we need more money or else we're not going to be able to get you your stuff. But I feel like the way they're handling it is buying them so much goodwill that people are like, because here it is. Uh, where is it? Okay, so the support pledge. This Oh, so this was only 73 Never mind, that's not the most popular pledge level. This is just extra stuff. Uh, booster card, packs. But this one, they're, they're like trying to get people excited for their upcoming game. Like, this is a pledge. Just give us money. Give us give us some money now, and we'll take that money off of your or, uh, the next game we put out. Like, it's so, it's so weird to me. And I just wanted to get everyone's thoughts and opinions on this. Because, like I said, I don't think I've seen 
another project like this. And it's also kind of odd to me. You know, I, I am not trying to speculate that GameFound is hiding this project, but it kind of feels like it. Like, this thing is raised, you know, what is it? No, that's the Kickstarter. It's raised, uh, what is it, six, I think it's like 60,000 bucks. Like, they're, they're going to happen. Yeah, 68,000 euros. So nearly 70 grand, right? And yet it's not on the featured six, which, you know, it's bigger than this. It's bigger than that. You know, it's bigger than this. This isn't out yet. I know it's you, Awaken, oh, it, Dirty Secret, Game Found is, is owned by Awaken Realms or some, something like that. Their companies, they're brothers and sisters pretty much. Uh, and then we get down here to the active projects. You say, okay, so it's probably right here. It's not right here either. And they even have like a project that's, that's, that's just the pledge manager. And then Rocky Royd, which is less than a thousand, you know. It, it, so you go here. It just feels like it's really tucked away. And it's, it's, it's you know, it's odd. But yeah, so that was that was the thing. What do you think about this? Obviously, I probably should answer that question. I don't like it. Like, here's the thing. I like how they handled this. I really do. But I don't like this basic idea because I think it sets a really bad precedent. Like, oh, well, shoot. You know, we made a million bucks on Kickstarter. Like, even if things go south, we could totally just launch that sorry game found project. Like, tell me, tell me that there's not going to be some game companies that play fast and loose with that. Like, oh, we made 250k, whatevs. We'll throw it up on GameFound. Show them, show them what's manufactured. Like, and I don't want to. I'm not saying that I think that's going to be the future of the hobby, but I also think that if this goes well, like we could see more of it. And maybe I just haven't been paying attention, and there are more companies that do stuff like this. But I don't think I've seen any of that have been this up front. Like, hey, yeah, we just screwed the pooch on that shipping. Bail us out. Um, it's really interesting. But let me know. What do you think in the comments below? Do you, do you, like I said, I like how this company handled it. I think it was a really unique idea. I just don't know how much I like GameFound and Kickstarter letting people do that. It's weird. But as always, if you enjoy the content, please click on that subscribe button down below. Bye-bye.